Oh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. Smack Beasley Chico. I guess you guys are uh you guys are kind of listening to the people. You guys are kind of listening to the culture. I guess you guys are kind of trying to make a change as it pertains to this URL TV.tv app. And I respect it. I appreciate the change that the URL is trying to make. I guess they're hearing what's going on and decided to change up a couple of things on the app. Let's talk about it. All right, all right, all right. Everybody stop crying, bro. Everybody stop crying, bro. Either you cough up the $8 on a monthly basis or you don't. You know what I'm saying? Even me, somebody who's hypercritical of URL because of the shenanigans that be going on over there business-wise and via contracts and all that stuff, I pay for the app faithfully, bro. And I don't complain about it. I choose to pay for it. So that's my own doing, you know what I'm saying? But lately, a lot of people been crying about the app, you know what I'm saying? Talking about the app, even ARP himself came out and uh, said F the app at one point, you know what I'm saying? ARP over at RBE, salute. So it seems as if though the URL, Beasley and them are kind of listening. Because no, they're not putting battles on YouTube. Y'all could just forget about that, bro. That's never going to happen. That's never, ever, ever going to happen, bro. The URL is never going to backtrack, bro. That'll be backtracking. If they were to go back, abandon the app, or even if they were just to go back to YouTube, because that means that people are not going to be able to access the battles via YouTube, but the reason that URL wants to be on the app is so that people are forced to be on the app. So the URL is never going to go back to dropping all their battles on YouTube, bro. So we could just forget about that. But, but... It seems as if though the URL is hearing the cries and the demands of the battle rap community because I got a very interesting app update today, right? And it's not something that I've seen URL do. You know what I mean? The URL put out a short video and the short video was called Upcoming URL TV App Schedule. Upcoming URL TV app schedule. So what this means is, right, one of the biggest points that everybody was making about URL TV TV app was that we'd have to wait months and months for a battle to drop. This means that while we're waiting for a battle, whatever battle you're waiting to drop, we have no idea when the URL plans on dropping said battle on the app. We just know, and we're under the impression that it's gonna take a while, and at some point, this battle is gonna be uploaded to the app. That's pretty much what the majority of the culture and everybody is under the impression of, and that's partly why so many people have an issue with the app, is because an event will happen Battles won't drop on the app from said event until maybe two months later, bro. So we we would be left dangling, you know what I'm saying? We'd be left wondering, complaining, where the hell are these battles at, bro? When are you guys going to drop some of these battles from these previous events that we've been waiting for? When are you guys, where is this battle? What's going on? When is this? When is that going to, we don't know. We don't know anything, bro. So I guess the URL is hearing those cries, Hearing those demands. They're hearing the culture, bro. They're listening a little bit. Because again, it's not like they're going to take their content back to YouTube. But what they did do is they're now creating they're now creating a schedule, it seems like. It seems as if though the URL is now creating a schedule to help address that issue. So now, all right, instead of us waiting... To find out when, let me see, instead of us waiting to find out when DNA versus Calico, right, is going to drop on the app, they now have let us know 
that we can expect for DNA versus Calico to be dropped on February 20th. Giving people a little bit of like, okay, now we go from having no idea when we're going to see any battle, any of these battles, to now, okay, at least we have an idea and we know when said battle is going to be dropping. This way people aren't so like left, this way we're not necessarily left just wondering and curious, bro, and just dangling there in midair waiting for any battles to drop on the app. You know what I'm saying? So in this upcoming URL TV app schedule, it looks like they plan on dropping the DNA versus Calico light work battle on the 20th. They plan on dropping LL Kuji versus Reaper Rail on February 21st from Survivor Series. They plan on dropping Shotgun Shug versus Danger Zone from the outside event on February 22nd. And they plan on dropping Chef Trez and Nun Nun versus a Flare Soul and Foots on February 24th. Yes, yes. I know, right? And I understand that people are still going to say things like, but these are not the battles that we want to see. These are not the battles. We want to see the bigger battles. We want to see the Tay Rock versus Snake Eyes battles. We want those to be on the schedule and blah, blah, blah. But we got to understand that, right? This seems like it's a new step for URL on the app. This seems like it's a new kind of like step, letting us know and trying to create some kind of schedule to let us know. So in this event, even though these aren't necessarily big battles that a lot of people might want to see and blah, 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 it seems as if though they are still trying. Like it seems as if though that is an effort and an attempt and an effort that was put forth in order to try and please some of the battle rap community. You know what I'm saying? Some people are going to appreciate it. Like, for example, somebody like me, I can appreciate that because I can look at it now, right? I can look at that 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 schedule, that app schedule, and I can be like, okay, I can look forward to watching Shotgun Shug versus Danger Zone on the 22nd. So now I can look forward to the date of the 22nd, and then when that date comes go onto the app to find the battle because I wanted to watch it. As opposed to somebody who wanted to see Shotgun Sugar and Danger Zone, URL puts up no schedule and we have no idea when to anticipate, when we're going to be watching this by, when we're going to be able to. So basically, I feel like it does a little bit more. It's a little bit more convenient for the person who pays for the subscription because now we can foresee okay these are the battles that are going to be released this upcoming month do i even really care about these battles should i pay for this month since this is not going to be the month where these battles that i want to see are going to be dropping so it gives the consumer a little bit more flexibility as far as you choosing to either go on the app pay for the app or whatever it is because now we know and have kind of an idea of what's going to be happening in the next week in February. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So it is a step. It is a step, right? So the people are obviously, I'm not saying that this is going to fix everybody's beef with the URL TV.TV app, but I do appreciate the fact that this was done because again, I can look at the list and be like, okay, I can look forward to the 22nd because Shotgun Shug is going to be rapping. I can look forward to the 21st because this person, I'm going to skip on. I don't care about the 22nd. Until it gives people a little bit of that type of like ability to make the decision, bro, and the choice as to whether or not we're going to be tuning in on this day, whether or not we want to make the payment for the app and subscribe on this month because trash battles are dropping and we know it because URL put a schedule and let us know. So honestly, if y'all ask me, bro, if anybody cares about my opinion, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all. One thing I don't appreciate, the one thing I hate about people that be watching, my yo, a lot of you guys are ninja watchers, bruh. A lot of you guys are ninja watchers, bruh. Y'all be watching the video and don't even care to hit a little like on the... Yo, what does it cost you to hit a like on a video, bruh? What does it really cost? But anyways, I still appreciate y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all tune in, y'all tap in. You know what I'm saying? And give me the motivation to keep making videos and keep blogging. So I still appreciate y'all. But either way, man, I know this is not going to please everybody. I know this ain't gonna, you know, 
make or break, you know what I'm saying, people's decisions to either get the app or not. But it is one small change that I wanted to point out. Simply, I wanted to point it out because there's been a lot of controversy around the URLTV.TV app. And even though I am critical of URL, I also want to point out when something that I feel is kind of positive or where URL puts in an effort to do something for like to cater to the community, I want to point that out too. I'm not just going to point out the fact that, oh, Beasley tried to persuade uh, NBS Central to do media for them and not URL. That's not the only thing. So again, in this situation, I like it, bro. I'm not going to lie. It just gives people the projection. Like this is what's projected to happen. This is what's going to this is what's going to happen. So you either tune in or you don't. You either pay the bill for this month, measly $7.99, or you don't. You know what I'm saying? So I want to know what chat think of this update. You know what I mean? You already know what it is. It's your boy Joe coming at you live and direct from the battle. <laughs>